Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you actually my planner or um, some people call it a bullet journal and I kind of use it as both, but um, this is my trusty planner book that keeps my life all together. Um, and I really love it and there's so many cool creative ideas you can do with planners now. Um, so I wanted to show you kind of how I go about my routine and maybe inspire you to start your own or um, give you new ideas for one that you already have. So this is my planner and I've been wanting to do um, or start doing like some plan with me videos for a while. Um, this is kind of what I would call my bullet journal even though it's not a notebook it's actually a binder. I guess I do things a little bit differently than some people. So I just wanted to show you through how I've been doing it for the last year. I started it last January and um, now it's February 1st, 2018 and so I haven't had time but I'm going to continue my same system but I'll sort of improve upon and change a few things. So I wanted to share that with you and so I'll do a flip through and sort of show you how I use my planner. So first things first, I'll show you my planner is, um, it's a binder. It's um, kind of like a half letter size binder that I got from Staples and they come in black or white and they have like a clear cover on them. So I did this loose floral watercolor painting and slipped it in and I have it on the spine as well. And actually I did have the same on the back, but I spilt coffee all over my planner. So this cover got wrecked and then I bought a new binder because the other one was kind of beat up anyway from last year. So I think I'll show you in a video when I redo the back and it's just on some 90 pound watercolor paper and it's my loose floral technique that I use. Um, anyway, so yeah, you can switch it out. Um, put in you know something you print off or paint on the watercolor paper but it's I like it because you can switch it and make it into your own and then um, if I had had like a planner like the actual bullet journal one and then I spilt coffee all over it some of it really would have been wrecked which um, I've actually spilt on my planner two times already this year and it's only February 1st so the binder might be a better option for you if you are kind of like that. So um, I just have like these little envelopes and they have some stickers that I ordered online, which I love. Um, I got the idea for stickers from Olivia from Main Message. She's got a YouTube channel, Olivia Hayward, which is really inspiring if you're like a small online business owner. And I was like, who has time for stickers? But honestly, I ordered some, they're so cute. And I just stick a few in here and there and it's so fun. It just, it really like makes my day. So don't feel like you're too old for some stickers. So I'm gonna go through this kind of quickly in just a summary in this video and not show you every single thing because that would take too long. And it's just an idea, just to give you an idea. So I have some clear um, sheet protector covers and I printed off all of the months of the year just for like a year at the glance for 2018. And then I added in all the holidays as well. Um, and the red ones are actual like statutory holidays for Canada. And then the other ones are holidays, but not stats. So that just helps me for work because I work um, at an art gallery as well as running my own business. So um, that is that. And then I just have some, some tags and stuff on this side from um, an order I got from Rifle Paper Company. They're super inspiring for me. Um, these I've had forever and I put some washi tape to fix the seam, but they're just like little tabs so I can tab out pages. And then these dividers I got from Staples as well. They fit this um, and they're actually erasable. You can write directly on it and then use a white eraser to erase it. So I've changed them a few times. And right last year when I got the planner and I got this order of stickers, I went kind of crazy and just stuck a whole bunch over top. But what I've been wanting to do this year is incorporate more of my watercolor into my planner. So I think I'll actually be doing like a watercolor painting and then sticking it with some double-sided tape on top of these. Um, I got this watercolor sketchbook recently um, and the pages are pretty much exactly the same size. So I can just kind of do whatever I want here and either hole punch it um, and stick it in my planner or um, it also has a little perforated line so I can tear it out 
and then stick it on top. Because um, that's the one thing I've been kind of feeling torn about is I'm a watercolor artist, an illustrator, that's what I do. And I want to incorporate more of that into my planner without necessarily having to spend tons of time. Because there are people that have like these amazing illustrated planners, which is great. Um, but just with my work schedule, getting actual paintings done for my line or commissions, I don't always have time to do that. So this will be fun to try that out. Um, so I have an index and that just basically um, indexes all the other tabs I have and then I index the pages. Um, I think I've changed some of them around so um, and I've whited them out like this is not one of those neat tidy beautiful hand lettering planners. I just kind of make it as nice as I can but it's really for me for function and I'm often in a rush trying to get things done. Um, then I have a key and I made some symbols. I really don't use a ton of these. Definitely just the task, task complete, in progress, migrate, and irrelevant. Those are the ones I do mainly. Um, then I have these extra ones here, which are kind of for fun. Um, and then again, because I don't have time to do tons of illustrations, because that's what I'm doing for my work, um, I usually do washi tape as decoration. I love washi tape. I kind of got into it last year. Um, so I have some that are just loose and then I also got this sort of washi tape dispenser from Staples um, which I have some on and I kind of switch it out seasonally. These are kind of more from um, the holidays so I'll be changing that up soon. And after that I have, um, you can buy this blank paper or lined paper from Staples so I put that in. And then I just kind of have been sticking inspiring things on my dividers. Um, but as I said, I'll be kind of changing that up this year. So this is my monthly log, the most important part. Um, I got this from Michaels. They're just little tiny post-its and stuff that you can tab out. Um, and this is actually from last year. I just liked it. So you don't actually, they don't, I haven't found the blank paper you can stick in these yet. But what I do is I cut out a letter sized piece of paper in half and hole punch it. I didn't have a hole puncher, um, like a three hole punch for the longest time. So I had just been using this punch. It has the right sized round hole punch on it. And I just kind of put a, a line piece of paper on top and just mark out where the dots were. And then I'd punch them, which is totally fine. And you can get these for like $5 at Staples again. I'm not sponsored by Staples, but obviously I shop there a lot. Um, but recently, at Michael's I got this three hole punch and um, you can just slip the paper in and punch it that way. So it's a little bit quicker for me now but both ways work. So how I set up, I'll show you for February or actually see. So this was my January spread. I made this um, on the computer and I print it out for every month and sometimes I add in some of my little illustrations. It's basically um, like a month at a glance. I've got important dates, to-do, bills, inspiring ideas, and then a habit tracker. And this is kind of my month at a glance. So the January just finished um, and I tab it out so I can go back to it. And then um, for my kind of daily log. Sometimes I take a whole page, sometimes I don't. So I just kind of write them out as I go and hand write the day of the week and then I put the little number and then I write my list and I kind of decorate it with washi tape. Um, I've also been trying to kind of keep track, um, sometimes I guess I do some doodles sometimes, of gratitude. So I make little asterisks at the end of the day and write something that I'm grateful for. I don't get to it every single day, but I try to. Um, this was a moon cookie recipe because it was just the full moon. And if you've been watching my channel, I've been kind of focusing on lunar cycles. So I made these sugar cookies and cut them out in the shape of moons. And this is the recipe. So sometimes I add in blank paper and just write in stuff like that. Um, so here is February. Today's February 1st. So I haven't done a ton of um, stuff in this yet but sometimes I use the habit tracker sometimes I don't but it's kind of nice to have um, and I don't really have time to like draw out the month spread every single month so that's why I made this one um, I made this an InDesign 
graphic design software and then I can decorate it if I have time, but mostly it just keeps everything sorted. Um, then I've got blank pages on the back that I can add things in specific to the month. And then this is today and I just did some washi tape and a sticker and I've got a list of things that I want to do. And then blank paper and then I've got the other months in here for the rest of the year as well. Um, these are just from when we went, um, I think when we went to Sparkling Hill last year, I just stuck those on there. And this is just my 2018 section. So I've got a really kind of rough layout of the full moon dates for 2018 because I'm keeping track of that this year. And an income tracker for my business, spring paintings, um, ways to make my business easier to run so I have more balance, so things I can do to maybe free up some more time for myself, um, which is something I'm working on. Um, and then I did these on the computer and again, you could write them out, but sometimes it's just easier for me to do this and then I can repeat it the next year, but refine it. Um, so this is kind of just my annual business strategy and I've got every month and then the things that I really need to do to make my business a success and reach my income goals. Um, and then I just have other ones that are broken down into more detail. So this is more my email campaign schedule. Um, and then this is super messy, but um, I have actually a printable version of a 52 week tracker on my shop. So you can check that out. And I just started a printable section. It's a lot nicer than this. It has like a floral border and just space for every month for all the weeks of 2018. So basically if you want to do any kind of 52 week challenge for 2018, you could write in like a sales goal. You could write in like date night ideas. Um, so for me, I'm doing my, my challenge for 2018 is to post a YouTube video every week. So I've got kind of a weekly list for every month of the videos that I'm going to do. And I've whited them out and they've kind of changed as I go, just if I'm working on something that's easier to post. So I've changed that and then I've just been migrating to the back page that's blank here what ones I haven't done so I know that I can add them in maybe next year or in um, a date in the future. Uh, and then I have goals. So this is a top 10, next 10. I do this every once in a while. This is actually from 2017. And I just do like 10 goals that I really wanna, or 10 things I really wanna do in the next 10 years. Um, and then I have sort of a personal section. It's got like addresses for mailing family and friends, um, like whose birthday is in which month, that type of thing. I won't flip through that too much. This is um, my painting section because I'm an illustrator. So I have paintings I've worked on, how many hours I've spent on them when I'm doing commissions, um, project time log, I kind of continued it on, just drew it out myself. Um, so that really helps when I'm building projects or keeping track of how long things take. I've got a things I want to paint list because I'm always feeling inspired. I don't have time to paint everything that I want to at that moment. Um, business and promotions. So I've got a craft fair list of craft fairs I go in and stuff like that. Um, business tools to research, all that kind of stuff. Um, then I have products and that's kind of just for my product line. So um, I have a list of wholesale accounts that I have that I want to get, um, that I might out reach out to, new product ideas. And so these are in an, each section has a separate index and then I number the page so I can flip back and add to it later. Um, and right now I need to reorganize that a bit, but that's the, ideal idea and then I've got a finance section um, which I won't show you because it has financial information but it helps me log into things and keep track of goals and stuff like that. Um, and then in the back I have these little folders that you can get same thing at Staples at some this is just like a promo sign I made at a craft fair and I liked it so I stuck it on here from um, one of my pillows that I sell. Um, but these are just pockets, so this one I just actually have like some stickers and stuff in, which is fun. Um, this one I've got some business cards um, for possible collaborations I'm going to do this year. And then I had an old planner before and I loved this. It was like a dichotomous key of should I wash my hair today? Um, I just thought it was super funny, so I just cut it out and stuck it in here. And then this is just the back pocket of the planner. So. 
Hopefully you stuck with me through this haul. Um, so that's the basics of my planner. Um, it works really well for me. I have some really fun um, ideas of how to design it and make it even more me this year. Um, and I like it too because, you know, I can do the watercolor um, monthly cover and maybe not put the year on it and stick it in here as it go as the months go. And if I don't have time next year, I really like it. I'll just leave it. So I guess that's the benefit of having the binder um, compared to like the actual notebook. Um, but there's other benefits to the notebook too. Like sometimes the rings fill up and this is hard to turn um, or you've got to take stuff out. Um, but anyway, yeah, it's totally up to you. Um, but I'll be making some more planning videos um, about my planner. I'll show you one when I redo this back cover. And if you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. I would love um, to know if you do, because I think I'd like to make more types of videos like this and also show you more watercolor projects that I'm going to do and incorporate into this planner as well. So I will Thanks see you so next much for Saturday. watching this video, Thank guys. You so um, much for watching. watching video, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I post videos every Saturday. It's my big goal this year in 2018 to post a video every single week. Um, so far, I've stuck to that. February is going to be a really busy month for me, but I think I can make it happen. So please uh, leave comments if you like the videos. It'll encourage me and help me to keep posting more because I really love making them. And if you want more information on any of my paintings or products, you can check my website out at lauraashton.ca. And don't forget to check me out on Instagram as well. And I'm at Laura Ashton Artist. See you next Saturday.